hello, hello. Welcome to the windowsill. <laughs> The official welcome to the channel for anybody who happens to be new here. My name is Rachel. I'm a 47 year old uh, empty nester. I've got two fur babies. I live here in Southern California with my husband and I just wanted to welcome all the new ones to the channel and anyone returning. Hello again. Hope you guys stick around for the week. This is the weekly vlog. It's a very super casual, non-aesthetic format. <laughs> I don't do aesthetic. I mean, I would love to do aesthetic, but I just don't have the brain capacity, the time and the resources to do that at this, you know, in this chapter of my life. Our son is in his second year of college out of state and, you know, just trying to keep myself busy uh, managing all that comes with being a 40 something year old. Things like, oh, I don't know, perimenopause, <laughs> weight gain, um, and then also just juggling that with my sort of part-time gig at our church. I sing at our church and I coordinate music there um, for all of our music ministry teams. So that's me in a nutshell. Don't really have anything planned other than maybe learning some music for tomorrow because I do have some new stuff for Sunday, which is my busiest day of the week because I sing a couple masses in the morning and then I'm just pooped for the rest of the day. So I do want to get our corned beef and cabbage in the crock pot at some point later today, uh, maybe in the evening so that oh, my dogs just want to say hello. That's my senior dog. <laughs> She's like 13 or 14. Oh my gosh. She just wants to say hello. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I want to get the, uh, I want to get the corned beef in the crock pot uh, so that it'll be ready sometime tomorrow. Uh, we can have it for lunch, we can have it for dinner, we can have it whenever, and I am planning to make some leftovers so that we have some to eat the next couple days. So that's my plan for Saturday. If I don't see you the rest of today, I will definitely catch you after church tomorrow. So hope you guys are having a great day so far, and again, thanks for stopping in. Give this video a like, let everybody know about it, <laughs> because I need more people to ramble to. I'll see you in the next clip, okay? Good morning, happy Sunday. It's a beautiful, gorgeous Southern California day. I am donning some green. I don't know if you can tell, it is St. Patrick's Day. And I completely forgot to stick the stuff in the crock pot. So I'm gonna have to cook everything on high today and I hope it is done in time for dinner. Uh, Rob and I are just headed to brunch right now. Um, it's 10.30, we're gonna go get some food and then head back. I anticipate being a complete sloth for the rest of today. So that is the Sunday morning update and I will see you in the next clip. Hope you guys are having a great day. And happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> okay, it's almost two o'clock and I completely forgot I had to do the crock pot corned beef and cabbage because I didn't do it yesterday like I said I was going to. And then I got caught up in editing the video, the weekly vlog from last week. And I looked up and I was like, oh my gosh, it's almost two. I should probably start dinner. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to um, just cube up some potatoes here. And then uh, some of that leftover carrot. I'm trying, I'm still getting rid of <laughs> carrots. I bought this bag of carrots. Why did I even buy carrots, to be honest? I don't. We don't really do carrots. I don't like cooked carrots. Um, so I'm going to do this, put this in the crock pot, which is on the other side. Be right back. Okay, so I don't really have that many carrots. I just have two of these stumpy little guys here. I'm just gonna peel them real quick and get these at the bottom of the crock pot. And then I've got my corned beef brisket I got from Aldi the other day. Anybody else find peeling? carrots very satisfying <laughs> okay big chunks big chunks of carrots okay back to the other side where the crock pot is and oh I didn't get it from Aldi I got it from from Ralph's, yeah, because it's a Kroger. That's right. Okay, so here is Zucon beef point cut. If anybody knows the difference, well, I think I know the difference, but like, is one better than the other? Point cut versus flat cut. 
get this over the sink and drain it. And then I'm gonna stick this in the crock pot and um, I'm gonna have to cook it on high now because it's already two o'clock and we'd like to be able to eat, you know, in a decent amount of time. Okay, see you guys later. I just finished 3,000 steps on the treadmill, even though it's Sunday, actually 30, 33. 100 steps. So feeling good, feeling good. Um, I'm gonna check in on the corned beef and cabbage, see if that's <laughs> anywhere close to being done. Um, it's only been in for two and a half hours, two and a half hours, maybe three hours. But yeah, so do that, finish editing my video, get it uploaded for tomorrow. And um, I think that'll be it for today. So have a good one. Happy St. Patrick's Day. It's a gorgeous Monday. The sky is so, so bright. Oh, the sun. Look at the sun. Oh, so nice. Anyway, it's Monday morning. I'm actually headed back to the church this morning to double check that people put a few things away. Um, and then I'm going to go to Ross, return some things. And then I'm going to hit up some more stores because I am still on the hunt for some Easter stuff. So let me tell you about the scale. It's not my friend. It's not my friend. Oh my God, you guys, it's so depressing. I didn't weigh myself yesterday morning. Um, Sunday is usually, I try to, well, Sunday was supposed to be my weigh-in day just to see how I do, right? I got on this morning after I went to the bathroom, you know, nothing on, just for consistency and being accurate. One seventy three point six. <laughs> it went up. So, yes, 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 yes. You can fluctuate from week to week. Blah 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 blah. It depends on what you eat the night before. Maybe you're retaining water. I'm just not gonna do it anymore. I, I'm just not gonna go by the scale because I thought for sure, I thought for sure I'd at least be the same or a little bit less, just even a little bit less, but more, I just can't do the scale anymore because it's, it's messing with my brain. It makes me feel like, why am I even trying? You know, like, I was super excited that I was being really consistent with walking. Yeah, I had some peanut butter cookies during the week. And I know they're probably at least, you know, maybe a couple hundred calories each. But I guess it doesn't matter. Easter dress saga continues. I just left Nordstrom Rack and um, I picked up a dress uh, that was missing a belt and when I was checking out I asked the lady hey is this the clearance price because it's a missing a belt or is there any way like is there some place you can go to look for the belt you know a missing belt and she said well I'll put a note on the receipt that there's a missing belt in case you need to in the case you need to return it and then she said but there is Oh my gosh, so cute. There is one place I can look. And she looked and she found the belt. <laughs> so I'm so stoked. I feel like now I have to keep the dress even though I'm not super convinced I wanted to keep it in the first place. But I'll try it on with a belt and a sweater because it's a sleeveless. Anyway, that was just a fun little story I thought I'd share. <laughs> Yay. Okay, that was a moderate success. I don't know. I did buy the green-ish dress. I'm just gonna go home and work on music and then figure out what I'm gonna bring for small groups tonight. Okay, it's 6.30. Finally figured out what we're bringing tonight for our small groups. Somehow the theme became Filipino breakfast for dinner. <laughs> so our friends are bringing Filipino breakfast. Another couple is doing the eggs. Um, 
funny enough, the person that started this theme is Vietnamese and she's bringing Dorian ice cream, which was the whole thing. So we built it around this ice cream. Um, if you don't know about the Dorian fruit, look it up. <laughs> it is this um, tropical fruit. I've never actually eaten the fruit myself like fresh because it smells, I don't know. I, I've heard that it smells like rotting food, rotting something, rotting flesh. I don't know. It smells really bad. My sister likes the candy, like Dorian candy, but she's never had the, I don't think she's had fresh Dorian. Anyway, so that's what kicked it off. So <laughs> I decided, well, I don't know what else to bring because what goes with breakfast um, and there's already dessert. So I'm like, well, let's bring drinks. I bought Red Horse beer and then I also got San Miguel, but lychee flavor. So this is like, like a, not a wine cooler, but you know, like it's 3% alcohol. I also got um, two things of calamansi. The reason I actually, what I really wanted to buy was calamansi concentrate. Sometimes they sell these, um, you know, big bottles of concentrate with calamansi juice and like a sweetener. It's usually high fructose corn syrup. Well, they didn't have like the bottle kind, they had like the frozen, you know, like old school, right? Mix that up in a pitcher. So that's that, calamansi juice. And then I also got just straight up calamansi. If people want to sweeten, it's frozen. <laughs> if they want to sweeten with honey or sugar or something like that. Um, and then lastly, this was Impulse. I was in the in the checkout and I saw the Four Seasons. So I just brought that, kind of like a nectar kind of thing. Okay, I better get home. Uh, Rob's already at home and then I gotta make sure this these stay chilled. Oh, I do have a cooler in the back, but that's okay. I'll be home soon. But <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys at dinner tonight. Hopefully I'll pan around so you can kind of get an idea of what Filipino breakfast looks like. It's delicious. I love Filipino breakfast. They have the thigh oh, thigh. It's a little bit more pudgy. Eating dinner. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't wear my I'm glad I didn't wear my Tom Brown hoodie tonight in case I yak. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't smell that bad. Okay. Wait, one, two, three, eat or one, two, three, five. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Dan, you gotta eat your no. Oh my god, the smell. <laughs> Don't smell, just eat it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna call this onion ice cream onion and ice it'll be better. Maui onion ice cream. You don't taste it? It tastes like onion to me. It's not bad. <laughs> like this. Like I mean, it, yeah. it's not good. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So yummy. There's just so many different things it could be. It's definitely acquired because that third bite wasn't as bad yeah. Yeah. as the first one. Third and fourth. Mm -hmm. What are we saying it's like? Onion, onion ice cream. Onion ice cream, onion ice cream on a hot trash, trash day. <laughs> we try. It's rotting sweet <laughs> onions. On trash day. On
morning, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning, it's beautiful. Um, I just finished sending out my um, work email with all the music and stuff for everybody for this weekend. But just now, literally less than a minute ago, I looked up, looked out the front kitchen window and there was this little hummingbird just literally hovering and looking at me, well, looking into the window. <laughs> and it just made me take a, a big breath and just think of my dad. Like, if you don't know, my dad passed away um, in 2016 and I can't believe it's been that long, wow. Um, but he loved hummingbirds. He used to have these hummingbird feeders. And I just remember him, you know, preparing the food for the hummingbirds and, and watching them and stuff like that. So whenever I see a hummingbird, 100%, I think that is my dad coming to say hello. <laughs> um, and you know, with Easter coming up and everything, it's just, yeah, it got me a little, a little teary eyed right now, but yeah, I'm still miss him. It's, it's so weird thinking that like he hasn't been around for so long, but I should get another hummingbird feeder. We had a hummingbird feeder. Well, we have one in the front of the house, but it broke. <laughs> it's glass, but it came away from the little top part that it hangs from. So it's just kind of sitting in the bird bath right now. And I haven't been putting bird food in it because it attracts ants, you know, cause it's basically like sugar water kind of. Um, it attracts ants and so, I don't know, part of that doesn't appeal to me, but I, I would love to see the hummingbirds again. I just don't know a good place to put it or a good place to, a good way to keep the ants away. You know what I mean? So anyway, I don't have much planned for today. I'm <laughs> filling up my discard jar. I am, I don't know what it is. I'm maintaining my sourdough. So here's my active starter. Okay, I just fed it this morning. Um, so just waiting for that to, you know, do its thing. And I had poured out some discard, but it is growing and I need to start using it because this stuff down at the bottom is a lot older than stuff at the top. And I did stir it to kind of, you know, maybe get some food down to the stuff at the bottom. Um, but I need to use this because I don't think you can keep discard for ever. So anyway, if you guys have any good discard recipes, let me know. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna put this back in the fridge. So just wanted to check in and say hello and wish you a beautiful hummingbird Tuesday. <laughs> Trying for a pantry clean out today kind of meal. Uh, this is just some hot Italian sausage. I was thinking about adding some kale to it. I do have some uh, diced tomatoes, so I was thinking maybe some kind of like Tuscan chicken, but well not chicken, but Tuscan Italian style pasta thing. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking if I still have enough kale, add kale to this. And yeah, I think it'll be Italian sausage pasta of some sort. Of course, still looking for those 40 something vlogs. I found a few of them. I mean, like a couple this morning that are coming up on my feed, but not quite exactly 100% what I'm looking for. Like I don't connect 100%. I mean, I think it's important to sort of, you know, have a connection with the people. So I'm still looking for, for my right people, but I'm enjoying like finding new vlogs and a lot of them are newer ones, like with just, you know, under, under a thousand subscribers. Like me, gotta start somewhere, right? It's hard because like my other channel, I have, even still now, I still have about over, almost 9,000 subscribers. So it's kind of weird starting over. But understandably, a vlog channel, like I said, you really have to have an interest in following the people. <laughs> so anybody who's still here watching this clip, thank you for sticking around. It's only 9.30. If I have the motivation to do so in the morning, I will definitely 100% do it in the morning because I know by the afternoon, I'm just like not into cooking. So if I can do it now, let's do it now so that we don't have to eat out. Okay turn this down and see what else I have in the fridge. Do 
We like to taste a bit of the sausage because I've never bought this brand before and sometimes you never know what seasonings they use. Like some will use a lot of fennel or, let's see. Okay. Spicy, ooh, I like it. Okay, it's not overly seasoned, so that's good. So it is spicy, so I think I'll do kind of like, oh, that is a big piece of, It's 2.40, I'm finally getting out of the house for the first time. I pulled the trigger, um, ordered our bath faucets from Home Depot. So I'm gonna go over there. Uh, I had ordered it for pickup. I haven't gotten the notification that it's ready for pickup yet, but I'm gonna run errands around. I gotta hit the church, um, sign a birthday card for one of our priests whose birthday is tomorrow. And um, just enjoy the sun. I don't know, I think I'm winding down on the Easter dress quest slash saga thing. Um, I tried on two dresses yesterday at, was it a Ross? I think a Ross. And they're kind of like everyday-ish, but I don't know, I'm comfortable in them. They're not too flashy. Um, just, I don't know, just really com comfortable, like kind of my kind of dress. And um, I feel like you can kind of dress, dressy them up a little bit, you know, with your hair and your shoes and stuff. Gosh, it's so pretty today. As much as I love the fall and the cool weather and the grayness and like the coziness of fall, uh, after all of that and the rain and stuff like that, like the blue skies and the warmth just feels so nice and everything feels so new. It just makes you happy, you know, it makes you happy. <laughs> all right, I'll, um, I'll update you later on the faucets when I get that. And then also on Home Depot, I did order a bunch of drawer pulls, a cabinet pulls, a bunch of different styles because I didn't know which would go with the faucet. Um, since I don't have the faucets, faucets in hand, so stylistically, I want to make sure that it kind of goes, the finish kind of matches a little bit. They're going to be a distance apart, but I'd still like them to be um, kind of matching. And we went with black because I already have the brass in my um, in my shopping cart, but I could not find a drawer pole with the same finish, at least from what I could tell on the website. And I just, I just didn't want to take that chance, you know what I mean? So we're going with black, even though I'm a little worried about keeping it clean. And I thought about, well, the handles to the bathroom are this antique Venetian bronzy kind of color. And I thought to myself, well, we could always just get two new doorknobs in a matte black. I'll double check to make sure they have that option. And if they do have it in a matte black, we can just change maybe the inside doors to go with uh, all the accents in the bathroom. So that's my thought. Anyway, it makes sense up here. <laughs> okay, I gotta go. Bye. I totally forgot I'm going around school pickup right now. So... I'm in the car line. <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. I'm in the middle of the car line so I can get into the church parking lot. But yeah, the school is getting out right now. So, oh, I miss the car line days. I didn't get to do it a whole lot because, you know, I was working and then um, Colin would go to daycare and then I would pick him up after work and he would be at, at the school daycare. But on the very rare occasion that I had a day off or, you know, I decided to leave early or something, I would, I would go through car line. <laughs> so, miss those days. Oh, maybe I can go around. I think I'll go around to the other driveway. Yeah, skip this. Okay, bye car line. Bye car line. Finally made it to Home Depot. Let's go pick up the stuff. I've never used the pickup lockers before, but apparently they have order pickup lockers, so let's check it out. Got a code and everything. Kind of like Amazon. This here. So I need to put my code in. Okay. <laughs> 
when I get in the car because there's a bunch of people out here. Okay. That was hilarious. So I put my QR code in. Apparently this locker thing is QR code. Anyway, I put my code in. I hear this click, kind of like a, you know, like a release of the door, but none of the doors opened. I tried it twice. None of the doors opened. And so I called one of the employees to help and she tried to do it again. I said, okay, I tried it twice already, but now it's saying there's an invalid code. Um, and <laughs> so she tries to put all in her access codes and tries to, you know, get into the lockers to open them. I don't know, whatever. She couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Some other guy had to pick up something. I'm like, just let him go first. Cause like he probably can just get his order or whatever. So he did. Um, and then this other employee comes over and he's like, what's wrong? Can't get it to work. And we're like, yeah, I don't know. It's, he tries it again. I'm like, we already tried like, you know, four times, four or five times. Didn't work <laughs> anyway. So I'm like, it said locker 18. It said locker 18. Can you just pick the locker and then like unlock it somehow? He said, no, we can't do that. I'm like, okay. Um, so he starts like touching all the doors and like trying to figure out which one's 18. Cause they're not numbered. You know, I don't know why they're not numbered. Oh, that's Colin FaceTiming. Hold on, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, it was Colin. He was FaceTiming me. He's at Publix. He's grocery shopping. And he was just telling me, because like, it's a big thing, right? You know, he has limited funds. He doesn't have a job on campus or whatever. He doesn't have a job at school. Um, so we sent him like an allowance to go to the store and stuff like that. Um, he was like, yeah, I was standing in the meat section and the guy was like, you should come back tomorrow because chicken's going to be buy one, get one half off or buy one, get one free. And he's like, okay. So I said, so are you going to go back tomorrow, get some chicken? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, good, good. So it's nice to be able to talk to him during the week, just doing like ordinary things. You know what I mean? So that's my boy. Anyway, where was I with the story? So yeah, I tried all the different doors. <laughs> they get to door 18 apparently and it just like it was open it just visually there was no indication the door actually like open but apparently like it unlatched enough for the door to open but the door didn't swing open or anything like that so I got the two boxes the color Numista matte black now we gotta wait for all of the different drawer pulls that I ordered to come in um, to see which ones go better style wise as well as finish you know what what looks the best um, and then we'll return all the other ones because it's kind of pricey kind of pricey okay we're one step closer like it's when you have these renovation things and you have these like this vision of what it's going to look like or you just don't know if it's just a pipe dream like is it yeah we talk about this stuff all the time and you know we'd love to be able to do all the renovations at the house in one fell swoop you know what I mean like we'd love to redo the kitchen we'd love to be able to buy new furniture and just you know make it like perfect but you know we, we've got limited funds you know we're like normal people so the dream is becoming a reality like and it really hit when the actual vanity came in I'm like okay well like we're really doing this look at my discard it fully like straight up for sure 100% doubled or more just a little bit and I just fed it what did I say this morning about seven so yay okay so it's like 10 hours 10 hours it's still alive so that's good now I just gotta get up the nerve to make a loaf of bread. I don't know what is stopping me from making a loaf of bread. I guess just like failure that I've invested all of this time, some money in the flour, and it's not gonna turn out right. I even bought one of those um, basket things. What are they called? Ban Banaton, those little basket thingies. And then it came with a the thing to score the bread. It looks like the word lame, but I don't know how you say it. Lam, lamb, lame. There's no accent, I don't think. Anyway, I'm getting too like, 
hypercritical about pronunciation. I told you I found a recipe that I do want to try. It's um, it's like 50-50 or like it's part whole wheat einkorn and part all-purpose einkorn, which is why I bought that from Whole Foods and I was so glad it was on sale, but um, yeah, I just, I'm kind of scared. I don't know. I don't know why. Also timing. I got to figure out like timing wise, like when is the best time? Because I think the recipe calls for it to like do like an overnight, what do they call it? An overnight ferment maybe. So I think I just need to like kind of work backwards and figure out what time do I need to like make sure it's fed and make sure it's like at its peak, how long it will take, etc. Okay, that's it for today. That's it for today. Um, I'll catch you tomorrow for hump day. Okay, have a good day. Good morning, happy hump day. Don't mind the mess. I did a little bit of laundry. You gotta put some recycle and the laundry's open, but whatever, who cares, that's real life. So pancakes. I made more einkorn sourdough pancakes this morning and this recipe is, I have to say, way better than the other one. I kind of played a little bit with just consistency and like how thick the batter is and stuff like that. So, and then I also added vanilla and a bit of cinnamon, which isn't in the recipe, but you know, you do what you do, whatever you need to do. <laughs> Add chocolate chips, blueberries, whatever, you, whatever you like in your pancakes. But this one is definitely a lot, um, springier it's definitely fluffy um the other ones were kind of thin and flat kind of dense but um yeah so this is this one's a winner i'm gonna link it below use this recipe not the other one <laughs> i don't really have much on my schedule for today the only thing i have is um dinner plans i have dinner plans with some friends from our small group and uh, that we, you know, the one that usually meets on Monday. We're gonna meet up with our pastor. It's his birthday today, so we're gonna have dinner at a Filipino restaurant. I think another um, priest is gonna be tagging along, so it's just gonna be like a smaller group because not everybody can go. I'm waiting to hear back to see if I should pick up a cake for like a little birthday celebration. So just a little small one because I think they're only gonna be like maybe five of us there. So that's my plan for today. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you a bit later. Hello again. Change of plans. I was gonna pick up a cake for our pastor and then discover that his favorite cake is a German chocolate cake and I have no idea where to get that. Um, I was gonna go to the Filipino store but they don't have German chocolate cake. So I'm gonna make one. I've never made one before, but it seems easy enough. I'm just gonna do a doctored box cake for the chocolate bit. And then I'm gonna make the coconut, you know, the shredded coconut filling topping stuff. Um, yeah, but I just stopped by the old bake shop that I used to work at. It was so cool to, to go back in there. I haven't been there in such a long time. But yeah, change of plans. Now I'm going to go to the store to get the box cake mix and all the other ingredients I need for the cake. It's 1230. I hope I have enough time to do this. Yeah, I should have enough. I hope, hope I have enough time to do this. I just need to time it right. Make sure that everything cools properly. I got a box. I got some cookie cutters because I have goals to make cookies for Easter, Easter egg, a little cross. And I got some more tipless piping bags because I'm running low on the small ones. So, all right, I'm gonna go so that I can like focus, get this done because it would be terrible if the cake didn't work out. <laughs> It'll be so bad. Anyway, okay, bye. Okay. It's 425 and the kitchen is a disaster. It's an absolute disaster. So right now the cake is in the fridge, but like it's so hot in here right now and it's so messy and I, I'm not gonna be able to sit down. <laughs> I need to be at our friend's place by six. So... Yeah, it seems like it was gonna be easy in my head, but now I'm gonna clean up so that um, <laughs> Rob doesn't come home to a disaster. Here's the finished cake. <laughs> it's really hot, it's really hot, so the buttercream ganache frosting is kinda soft. 
I'm gonna try to put it in the cooler and hope it makes it through dinner so we can have dessert later. Yay, finished. Okay, wouldn't you know it, as luck would have it, I made it all the way to the car. I got the door open and then my hand slipped as I was putting it down and like the side of the cake hit the box. Oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? I walked to my friend's place now. I know you probably can't hear me because the AC's on real loud, but okay, I'm gonna head over to her place. Let's hope for no more accidents, but it is, oh, I can't believe I did that. But really, it came down to the wire. I barely finished. I'm glad I was able to even hop in the shower. I was like, oh, I'm gonna be so nasty. <laughs> fun times, fun times. And it totally didn't help that as I was baking, I didn't realize the heater was on. I was like, why is the house so hot? I thought surely it's because of the oven, but the oven hasn't been on since earlier today. And I was like, what? It's not that hot outside. Like, why is it so hot in here? I go to look and it's on heater and the house is 76 degrees. This cake is like <laughs> melting before my eyes. Uh, oh well, I'm like looking at it. It's just gonna be like, it's gonna look like, the piping's gonna look like poop. It's gonna look like the little poop emoji. <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? Happy birthday. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> I still have a mess to clean. Oh my word. Look at the table. Oh my gosh. Do any of you store all of your baking things in the oven? Because that's where those things live. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to clear this, clean the sink, update on the bathroom. There is a guy or guys, whatever, um, people are coming tomorrow to reglaze the tub and shower walls, the tiles. But my main task today is going to be cleaning the bathroom for the guys to do their work. <laughs> because I don't know about you, I don't care who it is, the bathroom cannot be disgusting even if they're gonna like demolish it, you know what I mean? Uh, and then I have Bible study today, and that's my Thursday. So I'm gonna get to doing this, it's already eight o'clock. I have goals to fast for as much of today as possible because I was a glutton last night, literally. So we had that really nice dinner at the Filipino restaurant, which was really nice. Um, the cake, he loved the cake. <laughs> he kept like taking these little slivers. He got like his initial piece. And then he was on the phone talking to his sister. Um, taking these more little slices from the cake. So I think he liked it um, and everybody else liked it too. The frosting, like the, the Asian contingency. So me and then like the two other ladies from our uh, church group <laughs> we were like, yeah, it's too sweet. Yeah, cause we're just not really into like that super, super sweet butter creamy kind of frosting. Um, but anyway, the cake itself was really good and I think he was really happy. I lost my train of thought. I don't remember what I was gonna say now. I was a glutton. I was a glutton last night. Food was really good. I had some cake and then I came home and you know, had like scraps and stuff that was sitting on the table. I ate scraps. <laughs> I ate scraps of cake. I didn't need to do that. That's probably a whole nother serving of cake. So I'm gonna fast for as much of today as possible. I haven't done a long fast in a long time, but let's see. Let's see how far I get. I'll just do tea this morning and tea and some water. Tea and water today is for as long as I can. So wish me luck because I am feeling the need to detox. I need to detox. Happy Thursday. <laughs> see you later. Okay, we are gonna try to match up the faucet. We got a Home Depot package in yesterday, so let's open it up and see if these two guys match. So this is what we got, the Kohler Numista. So here is the matte black. I like it. Oh, it's super heavy. This is the Liberty 
this one here. Okay. I kind of like that actually. Let's see. Finish is pretty good. You know, they're going to be a distance apart, but the reason I selected this was it's got a, it's got like a squarish right here base. Yeah, okay. And then see how this one, the Numista, is also kind of a, I don't know if you can see it because it's there, kind of a rectangular base. So these, in a sense, kind of match that way. Oh shoot, is this like even the right, this is not the right size. <sighs> no, did I order it wrong? Hold on, oops. <laughs> okay, so that was my bad. So it looks like they have three and three quarter inch, but only in a single or a 12 pack. So if I want to do this, I'm going to have to order six singles. I think um, since they just have them in stock, I'll go to the store when I have a chance to leave the house. I'm on the road because I actually completely forgot that I needed to meet this guy. I had a meeting with this guy at church at 1030. It's 1027 now. I texted him. I, I remembered like, well, I didn't actually remember. I saw my phone and it had like the little reminder on it. And it was like, meet Cameron. I was like, oh shoot. Oh wait, that's today. So I texted him because I had enough time to get there. Um, and he said, hey, are you still up for meeting? <laughs> and so I'm on my way. Anyway, we're gonna go over stuff like slides. He does slides for like the projector screens in the church and he's new, so he doesn't, I wanna make sure he reads the music scores properly so that he gets the right words up there, like when they're supposed to be up there. And then, and then I'll go back home and then I'll do the bathroom. Okay, church done. I'm leaving Smart and Final right now. I decided to go ahead and pick up a little something for our Bible study. Oh good, <laughs> there was a big rig parked directly behind me. I'm like, how the heck am I supposed to get out, dude? We're out of like hot cups and coffee. Uh, and then I actually decided to pick up some cleaning supplies for the bathroom, um, like gloves. I wasn't sure if we had like latex gloves or you know, like just gloves because I'm not really down for scrubbing. Doing the deep clean, but I got that. I got more disinfectant spray. Um, all fun things. Just continuing to drink my tea here. I didn't even put any sweetener in it. So I'm kind of feeling the hunger pangs are making themselves very apparent. Daddy, <laughs> I'm home. Yeah, I'm home. In the kitchen. Look, I updated my centerpiece. Just relighting my candle here that I changed out. Colin bought this candle for me last year for Mother's Day, I believe. It says best mom ever. <laughs> I didn't want to use it for the longest time because, you know, I was like, oh, I need to preserve that. But I mean, what's the point of him buying it for me if I'm not going to use it, right? So, okay. I put my stuff away and then really just like totally, totally, totally psyching myself up to go do the bathroom. Do you know what is really bad is I've actually been procrastinating in my head thinking, you know what, maybe when I get back, I'll do some weights. I'll pull out the dumbbells before I do the bathroom. I mean, is that bad that it's come to? This is the thing that's finally going to get me to start working out, right? Is like avoidance of doing the bathroom, but I think I'm just going to do the bathroom. Taking a little break now. I'm doing another tea. So I'm um, using this Puka Love Organic. It is rose, chamomile, and lavender. So it should be yummy, I hope. <laughs> Got that in there. Stick some hot water. I'm uh, kind of hungry, but you know, I'm not starving. I will survive. I will survive. I was thinking about making an iced tea for later. I'm trying not to put anything in like the tea, any sweeteners, even if it's sugar free or anything like that, or even just using like flavored teas, but got this now, it's super hot. I don't smell any rose, but maybe it tastes a little bit floral. So. Quick update, I thought you would be pleased to know that I stayed strong in my conviction to not eat <laughs> at Bible study. So I just drank my tea and 
watched everybody else eat the delicious food. So they even had uh, Spanakopita. They had Spanakopita, and then they had like, um, oh my gosh, yummy things. Just, oh, someone made like spaghetti and meatballs or pasta with meatballs, and I was like, really? But to be honest, I am not hungry right now. I think I just, I got a lot in the reserve, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'll call it a night and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the reglazing situation in the bathroom. So, okay. Happy Friday, happy Friday. Yes, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt I was wearing yesterday. <laughs> it's 7.06, I guess we're still waiting for the guys to show up to do the bathtub. Um, let me show you what it looks like before. Here's the situation. You can see, I think it was probably in a uh, blue tub. It's probably a blue tub, right? Yeah, like a lake. And then they painted over. So anyway, it just, yeah, this is the before. You should have seen it before, before. Like before I got to it. That's the before. Okay, so while we're waiting for the guys, they said 30 to 40 minutes. I got the second box of handles. I still need to go back if we like the other ones and get the right size. This is nice too. See, it's got another square. These ha this one has a little bit of a curve to it going this way. Curved. Let me get the faucet. Ah, I noticed this has, you can't, let me see if I can turn you around. Can you see that? It's got a bit of a detail on the top of that. I, I don't think I like that. I want it smooth, I think. Finish matches, more or less. Again, they're gonna be at a distance. Okay, that's going back. So actually on second thought, I'm just gonna keep it for now because it does kind of tie in a little bit it has a little bit of detailing here with multiple kind of layers, graduated layers. So maybe, I mean, like from a distance, th th they'll be a distance apart, but maybe, maybe. Okay. It's supposed to stay way here, but yeah. oh, so when he's it done, up. he's going to give you his Zell info to text okay. me, and then I'm going to... Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. What was your name? Moses. Moses. Okay. Moses. Awesome. Oh, did you want to move your truck over and then I'll move out of the way? Okay, quick update. So, guy's here. Um, he's starting right now just moving his car because Rob actually had to go to work. He actually was going to take the day, but then his assistant called off sick. So now he has to go in. So he's on his way. It's eight o'clock getting started. He said it's going to take three hours to do the job and then we won't be able to use it for two days. <laughs> so, um, I may be going to Planet Fitness to take a shower. I mean, there you have it. Oh, by the way, my fasting? Yeah, I haven't eaten anything still. It's eight o'clock. I feel kind of a little grumble. I'm making some tea right now. Um, I think I just, you know, <clears throat> I was thinking, yeah, I'll have breakfast today. You know, maybe I'll push a little bit later. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But so far I'm at 30, to so 20, 24. I'm at 34 hours right now. I feel fine. Um, I really just want to like reset my taste buds so I don't crave the sugar. Um, it's the sugar. I just can't have sugar. It's detrimental. It's detrimental. Okay, you guys coming back, so I'll see you guys later. Hi, it's 10 o'clock. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, he's vacuuming stuff up, I think. I'm gonna try the cottage cheese mixed with scrambled egg thing. I don't know, breaking my fast. It'll be about 10 o'clock. This much? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Looks like this so far. Can you see? Garlic powder, cause flavor. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> Okay, I'm usually a hot sauce and eggs kind of person, so let's see if I'll need to add any.
Hmm. That's nice. It's good with the garlic. Yeah, this doesn't need hot sauce. I don't even notice the cottage cheese at all. I mean, I love cottage cheese, so it doesn't, you know, it's not a big deal to me because I love cottage cheese. But if you're averse to cottage cheese, you won't taste it. You don't even feel like the texture, nothing. It's good. I feel good. Okay. Getting ready to spray it. This has to go out that window there, so. Hey, time for the reveal. It smells horrible. Okay, here we go. Whoa, it is so bright white in here. Look at that. So white, clean slate. Okay, I'm gonna close this door because it smells so bad. Wow, it's not blue anymore. Now all we have to do is replace the vanity. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Right, buddy? Right, buddy? He's so excited. <laughs> he's, been, he's been locked in the bedroom for how many hours <laughs> with Capri? Okay, um, so with that, I am going to call it a vlog today. I'm done. Not much else is going on. And yeah, just gonna take care of these dogs now they've been neglected. <laughs> this morning, huh? Oh, buddy. So thanks so much for joining us this week and I hope to see you next week. All right? Okay. 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 All right. <laughs>